Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So the guys over at icstation.com have sent me one of their Peltier elements. And these are actually pretty cool devices. One of the applications is that it can transfer heat if you apply a current to it. It will transfer the heat from one side to the other so that this one gets cold and this one will get pretty hot. Normally if you place a hot object on top of a cold object, heat will transfer from the hot object to the cold object until they are in thermal equilibrium. But what the Peltier element can do is that it can suck heat out of an object and transfer it to another object even if this is colder than this one. And the more current we apply to the Peltier element, the more heat we will transfer between the two. But of course the hot object will lose some energy to the environment and the cold object will receive some energy. So by insulating the objects or applying more current we can make a greater difference in temperature between the two. So let's see if it actually works. The way I have hooked it up here it will try to heat up these two blocks of aluminium and the other side here will get cold. And when I apply power it will draw about 20 watts, or there about. So, let's see what happens. And it's starting to get very cold. And in fact, it's frozen. So let's see if we can measure how fast it cools down. You can see it's just around room temperature at the moment. The aluminium blocks heated up a little when we did the last test. But a couple of degrees won't matter that much. But if this bottom part gets too hot it will affect how cold we will get the other side. So let's try this. And you can see it drops fairly quickly. Of course it doesn't have any mass to cool down, it's just the surface of the element itself. And you can see in under a minute we can get it to below 0 degrees Celsius. Of course the better contact you have to the thermal mass below, the better result you'll get. And yet you can see it is it is actually frozen so the multimeter reads a bit high but that's expected since it's in contact with the air also and this bottom part is getting to around 32 33 degrees i would say so let's try something with a bit more heat capacity let's try and put the element in between these two and cool the top one down This also puts a bit of pressure on the element so it will work a little bit better. So let's go. And this would take a little bit longer so I might skip a few minutes so we can see how long it takes to cool it down to say 10 degrees. So it's been about 7 minutes and it doesn't seem to drop much further. It says 22 degrees but I measured it with another multimeter and that's at 20. So I think it's actually a little bit colder than that. But uh, I don't think we will get near 10 degrees with 2 amps of current and with no way of getting the heat away from this bottom part. That is actually getting... Yeah, I can still... It's just about too hot to touch now. But if we could pull some heat away from this, we could get this colder. But that is not the only thing the Pelty element can do. If we cut the power and we instead measure the voltage across the Pelty element, you can see it's actually generating 1.8 volts. And we can 
check the current and you can see it's actually 200 milliamps it's a fairly low voltage but we can actually pull a decent amount of current out of it well 1.8 volts should just be enough to light up an LED and it is and it, it is lighting up very very dim so let's try and let the Pelty element do its thing again here uh, I'm just letting it draw a bit more current this time but this time we will insulate it a little bit so the heat won't just go down into the bench and while we do that I have built a little circuit here that I have stolen from EEV Block's latest video where he tried to bust some myth about free energy. It's just a simple boost converter that will work at voltages down to about 0.7 volts. And I've just hooked up our LED again. You can see the temperature is higher than before, but uh, this time the bottom one here is very hot. So let's try and see if uh, this will work. And I'm gonna hook it up. And it does. You can see the LED is on. It's actually very bright, it's just the camera that doesn't pick it up that well. The voltage is around 1.6 volts now, as it was before, but the LED is still lighting up very bright. You can see as the top plate is heating up, the voltage slowly drops. And when they are the same temperature, we will have zero volts across the element. So we are down below one volt, as you can see, and the LED is still lighting up. Now this circuit is not very efficient and it will die out soon when the voltage gets closer to 0 0.7. But if we use some transistors with lower base emitter drop, we would be able to get the LED to light up for a longer time. But then again, it's not really about this circuit. You can buy dedicated energy harvesting ICs that will work all the way down to 0 0.2 volts or something. So this was just to show that the Pelty element can also be used to harvest energy. When you have energy passing through it from this bottom block to the top block. So, so in other words, the element will generate a current when energy is passing through it. And when you apply a current, it will transfer energy through itself. So at least I think they are pretty cool devices, these Pelty elements. And a few applications could be, as you saw, energy harvesting, if you want to play around with that. It's not really that practical, but it's uh, great fun to play around with it. But you could also use it for a mini fridge, for a single soda or beer or whatever you like. But another application that I was thinking about is if you want to cool a device down to below room temperature. You can't do that with a regular heatsink of course, but if you put this element in between your device and your heatsink. And then add a fan on top here to cool this down to room temperature. The Pelty element will cool your device down a lot further. At least that's the theory. So if you want to play around with this yourself, you can find a link in the description. And if you have any cool ideas to what I can use it for, you can put a suggestion in the comments. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. See you.